Can I say, I just love Pewter City theme, or, you know, the song here. It is so lovely, so upbeat. But, hey guys, Chris O'Master here, welcome you back to another episode of Pokemon Infernal Red. In the last episode, we had a special guest, and we made it way through Viridian Forest. In this episode, we are going to talk to this random guy. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm. Well, this is where they keep fossils. Uh, who are you? Be gone. I have no idea what that voice is. Nor will I ever know. But... Let's do it again. As we talk to this guy. Uh, so they keep fossils in this building. Huh? Go away, child. I don't know about you, but that seems very familiar. You know, that sprite. Ah! Oh, oh, my bad, didn't see you there. Name's Doug. I've been digging into this side of the mountain for weeks. Why do you ask? Because I'm lo looking to strike riches. That's right, a little burmy tied the pieces, home to some rare minerals. Once I find them, I'm gonna be super rich. Oh, you wanna help? Well, sorry, kid, but I haven't got the help I need right here. I tell you what, I share some of my riches I, riches I find with you. See, I'm going to be a millionaire, couldn't help to spread the wealth. You should come back every so often, I might have something for you. Well, back to digging. See ya. Nameless Tunnel. Ah, hey, it's just you. I haven't found anything interesting, you should come back later. Why don't I take on the piece and look? Uh, okay. So, this actually wasn't in the original, and this is actually my first time seeing it, so... Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I actually like this, and the, the changes they've done so far. Pretty cool. I said pretty cool twice, so that's pretty cool. For a second I thought she was going to stop me, but... Um, off screen I did a bit of grinding, and uh, Charmander learned a new move. So let's test it out against this guy. Stop it, you kids! You're 10,000 light years from Face Brock! Campylion will like to battle, and he sent out Geodude. And I didn't switch Pokemon. Brilliant. I also didn't turn the uh, the battle style. This is great. So yeah, I turned the battle style off. It means you don't see animations and that really. But um, no X. And we have a new move, Metal Claw. It's a steel type move. This allows me to also attack rock and ground types, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, super effective. I've already gone over what that does and that, but um, yeah, Geodude is rock ground. I Me, mean, if I chose Bulbasaur or Squirtle, this gym would be a cakewalk. But no, I didn't. Um, I'm going to keep battling. Sandshrew, pure ground type. Um, oh, God's sake. Swift, normal type move, can never miss. Faulty power, but... Yeah, um... We're going to be here forever. Sandshrew's pretty damn bulky. Alright, next turn I'm going to heal. Um, unfortunately, I actually can't reach the... Um, I can't reach the bottom of my screen because of the... The thing... The uh, tab is actually too big. It's quite weird. Like, um... This is the furthest down I can go. 
before uh, reaching the bottom here. So, critical hit, damn. Uh, rapid spin that gets rid of all tr entrapments. It's sort of like a stase condition, but it's a field effect. Pretty difficult to explain without seeing one, but yeah. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance! But yeah, um, I'm gonna quickly go heal, I will be right back. So, I was in the Pokemon Center healing up and decided to talk to this guy who looked like he was from Tokyo Ghoul, and he gave me the Grip Claw. Um, oh, here we go. A Pokemon holds extends the duration of multi turn attacks like Bind and Wrap. Okay. I didn't know that was there, but, um, yeah, I'll see you guys back in the gym. Brock, you are going down when I send out Inferno. His metal claw. So you're here. So you're here. I'm Brock, the PUC gym leader. My rock car will power evident enough even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon all rock hard and have their true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock type. Foo ha ha! You're gonna challenge me knowing you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels me to challenge you. Fine then, show me your best. Right, I'm gonna go into files and find the music folder and literally download all of it. Because this music is amazing! I'm gonna be quiet as I start battling um, the first Pokemon we've already seen, so... Knew it! I called it a potion! Alright guys, <laughs> I guess, welcome back. I, I was originally going to talk when he was going to send out his next Pokemon, but yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, Brock is actually one of my favourite characters from the anime. But yeah, we uh, levelled up. Um, Onyx. We will switch Pokemon. Nope. Just realised I'm pressing zero on my keyboard, not right. <laughs> That's why that didn't work. So, Onyx. Rock, ground type, very a lot faster than you may think. And has pretty good defence. But, we're not here for that. We're here to heal up Infernal. Okay. My plan is to hopefully get him paralysed as he's attacking me. Um. Okay, wait. Does this game particularly... Rock Tomb attack miss, that's pretty good. Defense fell, and I realised I didn't turn the battle set on yet. God damn it! Okay. Um. Oh my god, he keeps missing. I honestly think I'm also missing because I don't. I have the battle style set to like not. But all right, that's Fagragon. 
Let's send out Inferno! Basically, my rule is don't have a Pokemon that's stronger than the gym leader's strongest. So, I know the next gym leader has a level 22. So, I'll make sure none of my Pokemon get higher than level 22. But, yeah. Oh, he's gonna heal, I know it. Ooh. Speed fell. Oh. Well. Well then. Do you remember I do have a Charmander and a Pikachu? Against Brock. Um, I'll be right back when I get to that fight with Onyx. Alright, finish this. Find, squeeze, <laughs> tackle, tackle, transfer, have a bite. Rock two. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Shit, it's going to take three moves. I can survive another attack. Melclaw. Tackle, okay. Okay, he's gonna heal up because he hasn't used a potion yet. I was actually able to say Geodude down three hits, not four. Or five because of the potion, but. On. Oh, I'll be able to take him out next turn. Rock shit! Oh! Oh! I'll uh, see you guys in attempt number three. I'm gonna be here all day again. So I grew to uh, level 15. Um, Onyx, switch. Fagra. Oh boy. There we go. Wow! Straight up with that! And then tackle. Me, I can only lower its defense by one stage. 
Unless he does something stupid like bind. Nope. Oh! 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 Yes! Oh! Alright. Oh, I'm so tempted, but you know what? No! Come on! Tackle! He's already used the potion this turn. Or well, not this turn, but... <gasps> no! 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 <gasps> no! Okay. Infernal, you have got to hit. Yes! 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 Ah! Uh. Oh, I took it for granted, and I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer this: the Pokemon official, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Just having this Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you flash outside battle. Of course, Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Here, take this with you. Oh my God! Oh! What was that, third or fourth attempt? I, I actually lost track. Um. Oh! Cerulean. Okay. Thank you, Brock. Oh my god. Excuse me. I'm looking for a child named Chris. Have you happened to see Chris? Yes. What? You're Chris? My apologies. I hadn't been shown a picture of you. How rude of me. I hadn't introduced myself. My name is Rowan. Professor Rowan. I'm a friend of Professor Oaks. You see, I'm actually visiting the Kanto region all the way from Sinnoh. I came here to study Pokemon of Kanto with Professor Oak. He recently told me there are many species of Pokemon that can be found around here. However, the true reason I'm here is to search or research evolution. I understand the same Pokemon in Sinnoh are closely related to those in Kanto. My goal is to find out why. Anyway, enough about myself. Professor Oak asked me to deliver this to you. An ATM card. You can use the ATM to deposit or withdraw money at the ATM throughout Kanto. He also asked me to give you these. The running shoes! <laughs> Hold down the Z button to run! But when only there's room to run. You seem like a fine child. Perhaps we could talk again. I'm sta I'm staying outside the Cerulean City. I've time that you're more than welcome to visit. Anyway, I should be departing now. I have plenty of research to do. Until next time, Chris. With a lower attention to the running shoes. Dear Chris, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I always, oh, this is your mum. From mum. So I gave her to Professor Oak Boys, but... Okay, we have done a lot. We have met Professor Rowan. We have got the running shoes. And in the next episode, we will be heading to Cerulean City. See you guys then.